Hey guys, how's it going? Been a while since my last brief video update, so I thought I'll make a new one. Um, if you remember from my last video, my tank was covered by like hair algae. Well, not really hair algae, but just really old algae growth that I did not bother to clean off. And because I had no snail, the algae stayed and it was pretty nasty. So, three days ago, I decided to take a razor blade to it, and look, it's pretty clean, huh? And I guess cleaning up a tank kind of inspired me, so I went online and ordered some cleanup crew. Which is the reason for this video. Because when I tell my friend that, hey, I'm going to go online and buy some stuff, they're like, what? You order shipping snails online? How do you get them? I tell them, well, they ship it to you. And they're like, what? They, I guess like, it's kind of hard to imagine buying fish online and getting them shipped to you. So here we go. Ha. Huh. Got it from Live Aquaria. Dr. Foster and Smith and I'll do an unboxing video just to show my friends what it's like when you receive fish and how to inverts from an online dealer. Okay, so I just finished cutting it open. Live Aquaria. Let's see. Instruction on how to acclimate drip method. Excellent. Uh, catalog, which I get. And inside the Brown paper box, there's a styrofoam box. All right, let's see. Oh man, they sealed this too. All right, hold on a second. Okay, so they taped the side up. I just cut it. And here we go. This is actually the first time I ordered from Live Aquaria, believe it or not. Um, in the past, there was Flying Fish Express, and that was a big name. I guess recently, Dr. Foster and Smith bought out Flying Fish Express, so now they're a big name. All right, let's see what we got. All right, what they usually do is like, they like triple bag it and then they make sure at least half the bag is, is black. So if there's fish in there, it doesn't freak out. All right, let me save this one last. I think I know what this is. So, I got some Scarlet Hermits for scavenging at the bottom of the tank and pick up some algae. I prefer Scarlet, how, how uh, bleh, can't speak. I prefer Scarlet Hermit <laughs> over the blue one because the blue one tend to be a little bit more aggressive So we'll set aside They're so small they probably don't make much of an impact. So it's more like for fun, you know Extra diversity and here we go. These are the Trojan snail, I think I had these in I had these before and They're a really good algae eater. So and they look really healthy right now. They're sticking to the side and stuff. So awesome Let's see Ha! Ah, fighting conch. Here we go. Life Aquarium offered Tonga one and Asian one. <laughs> Whatever that means. But this is Tonga one. Okay. And let's see. Serif snails. These snails go under the sand bed. So they kind of reach where the regular snails can. Which is great. I like to keep at least 10 of them in my tank. And finally... Oh look, they got a heat pack too, nice. This is the main reason why I ordered. Ah, excellent, looking healthy. This, this is um, Bristol Tail Filefish. You can kind of see it. I guess you can see the silhouette. This is a size medium. They grow up to four inches. And the reason I got this fish is because I have an uh, infestation of these, Majano and Anatomy. Nothing touched these besides like that foul fish and really specific, I think three or four kinds of butterfly fish. And it's a pain to get rid of, but I'll make another video ab about them. All right, well, I guess it's time for the acclimate. I'll do an update later to see how the fish is doing and all the other inverts. Talk to you guys later. So, all the things are in. Here we have the um, conch already dug in, along with the serif snails and scarlet hermits already getting to work. These are still trying to write themselves. Oh, um, I probably have to flip them, come to think of it. Maybe I should do it now. And in the back, we have the Bristol Tail Fowlfish. 
kind of hiding out in a corner, looking at its own reflection. This fire fish supposedly have like a crazy appetite for Aptasia and Majano. One of the really few fish that actually eat those things, so I'm hopeful. This guy is probably about, I'll say, 3.5 to 4 inches, tip to tail. Interesting color and texture. We'll see how it works out, and I'll post an update in the future. Alright, let me go write these snails.